Hi guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, I'm excited to tell you that... Hang on. We've got Yinho's root! So, we're finally on the right track, and I can scrap this piece of paper for now until I may or may not need it again. Because, depending on how this goes, I, um... I may fuck up. And I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Because that seems pretty common for me. But, um, yeah, so far we're doing good. I can feel myself wanting to sneeze. <coughs> there we go. Got rid of it. Ugh, okay. So, yeah, we're finally on the correct route. And now all we gotta do is play through it perfectly. Or else we'll get a bad ending. So, I'm gonna probably save in multiple different areas in this little save spot. To make sure that I don't screw anything up and actually get a good ending. But it's not bad to get the bad endings necessarily either because, well, they also reveal parts of the plot that are important to know and I'm trying to convince myself to be okay with that and it's, it's not really working. <laughs> but yeah, whatever, let's start. All right, I came out of the gate and checked my smartphone. I was curious what people posted on the app Zoe got for me. Zoe, arrived at Banjul. My Zeon is shining as always. Oh my god, look over there! Zoe really did go to Banjul. And you know, I'll go home as soon as I finish this ice cream. <laughs> it's like he's talking to me. I should post something too. Eri, class is safely over for today. On my way home. Red brought a bunch of chocolate snacks some girls gave him. Lance was reading Grandpa's books in the living room. And Tay cooked dinner after work. Yunho came back while we were having dinner, and he nodded when I asked if the ice cream was good. I'm getting used to all of this. Time for everyone to go back into their rooms. I'm writing in my diary, as always. Like that, Yunho was enormously, enormously popular at the cafeteria. Yunho has new friends. I came back to my room and wrote about today. Alright, finished. I closed my diary and headed to my bed. Ah... <sighs> I lied in my bed and looked at the ceiling. I closed my eyes and recalled what happened today. I was worried since he's a bit introverted. I'm glad everyone at the academy likes him. Yunho seems to have new friends. I worried over nothing. I hope Yunho's building his own world. Although he seems to be swaying by the girls a lot. Oh, although he seems to be swayed by the girls a lot. I hope he gets over that. I really wish they make good memories at the academy. I feel sleepy. Ever since the dolls became human, I fall asleep easily. So sleepy. <gasps> we might see a dream! Yes! Yes, yes, please, please, please let this happen so that I can understand more. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay. Like that, I was sucked into sleep. Are you sleeping? Master, if you don't sleep under a blanket, you'll get a cold. Ugh. I guess I must have fallen asleep. You know, Master, I... <gasps> oh, oh, no! <laughs> so fucking cute! I really like you. You know how I feel, right? Always be by my side, Master. Master. Okay, 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 we're doing it, we're, 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 we're doing it, picture book, <gasps> and it's yellow, because he's yellow, and, ah, I'm so excited, oh my god, I'm doing it, and it's working, ah, okay, okay, uh, okay, what is it, okay, you're such a good boy, Yunho. Know? I'll let you sit here since you're so good. I'll scold you if you behave badly like last time. Oh no. Was he abused? Look, you got these scars from being bad. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. No. No! No! No, 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 no. You can't tell me that. No. Oh no. No! 
Oh no, I'm probably gonna cry during this one. Fuck, this is gonna bring up some shit I'm not gonna like. I'll be by your side as long as you're good. Alright, Ian Ho? I wake up from an unfamiliar noise. Ugh, so noisy. What is it? It wasn't the alarm or my ringtone. It's like I'm getting several texts. I reached out to where the sound was coming from. The smartphone I got from Yuri. Is it broken or something? Master, I made rabbit-shaped fried eggs just as you like them. I'll send, set them on the table as soon as you wake up. Master, will you like them when you see them? I hope you smile, Master. Master, I think it's time you get up now. Can I go wake you up? <laughs> I think you already woke me up, kiddo. Can I scroll up? Oh, I can! Master, make sure you're warm when you sleep. I'm worried you might catch a cold. I... Aww, cutie. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, did they show up on the phone? I'm, I'm getting too excited. Master, I think it's time you get up now. Can I go wake you up? Five new texts? Really? I rubbed my eyes and looked back at my phone. Yunho sent me five texts in the morning? At that moment, the door suddenly opened. Master, wake up! Oh, you're already awake. Yeah, I just got up. Hey, Yunho. Good morning. Yes, good morning, Master. I made rabbit-shaped fried eggs this morning. I already know. You already told me that. I held up my smartphone to show him. Oh, you saw it! The rabbit shape came out so pretty that I wanted to tell you fast. I thought about writing it on Twitter, but then everyone can see that, so... I texted you just so only you and I can see it. <laughs> Are the fried eggs a secret? Everyone will see it during breakfast anyways, since we all live together. I didn't quite understand Yunho's words, so I tried to think about it again. Well, like, let's be honest, his fangirl club is gonna go and find his Twinter and be friends with him on Twinter, so then all of his friends will see that he's making you fried eggs for breakfast in the morning. And then you'll be targeted even more, because they're gonna be like, why should you live with him? So, it makes sense. He's sparing you some trouble. Be thankful, child. If you're awake, hurry and come out. I'll see the table. I'll set the table when you come out so you can start eating right away. Hanho pulled at my pajamas with his little hands. Get up, hurry! Oh, alright, wait. I woke up earlier than usual due to Yunho. When I went into the kitchen after getting ready, I was surprised at what I saw at the table. Wow, Yunho. So awesome. He must have really hated how Yuri snatched away my eggs. Yunho made five eggs this time. Five! They're even shaped the same. They weren't cloned, were they? I ended up focusing real hard thinking you'd be eating them, so they came out really nice. <laughs> Do you like them? They're so pretty. I don't think I can eat them. What? You're not gonna eat them? Then I will eat- No, don't! Red's hand stopped at the unexpected shout. Of course I looked at Yunho all surprised. Oh, uh, it's- Yunho smiled awkwardly. Oh, he's so fucking cute! This- this is for Master. If you want fried eggs, I'll make you some. So these are for Master. Yunho muttered in his small voice. He must have really hated how Yuri took them away last time. He must still have feelings about it. I feel like I've seen another side of him. Yunho, you just wanted to say it's not good to take what belongs to others, right? I just wanted to eat them since she wasn't going to finish them all. I didn't know Yellow would get so mad about something like that. So noisy. I'm not noisy! Don't you guys have something else to fight over? Aren't you tired of that same pattern? So juvenile. I'm finished, so I'm going to head out first. Hurry and come out when you guys are finished. If you're late, I'll just take my honey and head off to us, so hurry up. Yuri sounded a bit frustrated and went towards the front door holding the car key. Ugh, taking the limo to school. Let's hope I'm safe. Yuri would really just take Eri and head off. Tay, that scares me. Everyone, get ready! What? I'm not finished! How about we just stay at home eating and not go to school? Lance offered slyly to Red. Lance was making fun of him, but Red thought over it. Uh, no, I have to save the Earth, even at the Academy. <laughs> I grabbed my uniform jacket on the sofa. We should head out now. Huh? I felt someone tugging my jacket. Yunho? <laughs> Master, we're taking the limousine together, right? Huh? Yeah, but why? I just felt so good thinking of sitting next to you. I'll be right by your side. Red came into the living room after fighting with Lance. Yellow, you sat by her yesterday. Let me today. I want to sit next to her, too. 
I was flustered at what Red said. What is he talking about? Aren't there plenty of seats? Why do you want to sit next to Aerie? No way. Red? It's not... No, it's nothing like that, right? If I sit next to her, that douchey Silverhead won't throw anything at me. I can use her as a shield. He'd never attack her. Of course. Yep, of course. But that's the smartest thing Red has thought up so far. You make me sound like someone who favors violence. There's no one in this house who likes violence, but hey, we'll be late if we don't go out soon. Oh, the time! Red grabbed his bag while putting on his shoes. Tay and Lance followed behind. Alright, I should go out too. Hey. He looks really angry again. Oh no. Yes? I'm going to sit next to you, Master. Today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Always. From now on. Alright, I get it. Tay talked as if comforting you know. Change seats sometimes. It's not good to hog something by yourself, Yellow. I... Yunho clenched both his fists. Aww, he looks so troubled. Ah, no, baby! Ugh. I won't give in. Uh, are you alright? Yunho was a bit different than usual. Yellow, you sound like you'll stick by your side for the rest of your life. Yunho abruptly turned his head and looked at me. Master... Huh? Yes? I replied all surprised. Master, do you not like me sitting next to you? Huh? No, I would never! I denied it. I would never not like cute Yunho sitting next to me. Right, Master? Yunho's face loosened. But that was just now was somewhat like an obsessive child. I noticed Tay was looking at Yunho with worry. You guys, why aren't you coming out? I heard Yuri yelling at us from outside the door. I made him sound like one of the fucking high school girls. Ah, we'll be really late if we don't go out. Let's hurry. <laughs> you know, try this. I make these cakes for you. You know, look at this. I made this hat for you. Try it on. Oh, okay. Th thank you. I should get used to this now, but it always feels new since the girls bring different things every time. Yunho's getting more popular by the day. Thanks to that, I get to talk to Yunho less and less. If I try to talk to him, the girls swarm over so we can barely have a proper conversation. I do feel a bit bitter about it. I want Yunho to have a lot of friends in the academy, but I still feel a bit upset. I'm such a hypocrite. Yunho, I'll give this to you. It reminded me of you, so I bought it on my way home yesterday. Another girl gave him something hard-covered. It was a fairy tale book for children. The bright colored cover caught my eyes. The abandoned toy. Oh no, that might bring up bad memories for him. Oh no 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 no! I can imagine this is gonna go wrong. This is gonna go very wrong. Well, I've seen a handmade hat, so that's not that surprising. But still, a children's book. It doesn't look like she's making fun of him, though. Yunho hesitated a bit, but took the book, saying thanks. The thank you. You know, holding on to the fairy tale book. He looks more like a baby. Ah, cute! She must have given it to him for that. It does suit him, but they aren't treating him like a child. But aren't they treating him like a child too much? After seeing Yunho take all the stuff, the girls talk to him more enthusiastically. What kind of pictures are inside? Do you want to see with me? Yunho's popularity won't disappear anytime soon. I took out my packed lunch I bought from the convenience store. All the kids who didn't bring their lunch went to the cafeteria, so the classroom was empty. Unlike the packed cafeteria, I can enjoy my lunch by myself here. <laughs> I knew it'd be so much better to choose the convenience store. When will I ever enjoy my lunch in peace like this? I felt good about my own choice and took the wrappers off. The rice was a bit hard and the side dishes were cold, but I can still enjoy them. Huh? The classroom door suddenly opened. Master! Yunho called me with the taboo word. I quickly looked around, but no one heard it. Yunho, that word! I whispered to him, but he ignored it and came into the classroom. You were really here. I thought you went to the cafeteria with your friends. I did, and came back. You came back? You're finished already? I don't think the girls would have let him go if he did finish. Huh? Since Master wasn't at the cafeteria. What? It's only been ten minutes since lunch started, so of course he didn't finish. As soon as I thought that, I held out the chopsticks I was holding. Let's eat together. Yunho looked at me surprised. 
Really? Of course. Come sit next to me. Yinho beamed and came running towards me, but he didn't take the chopsticks. Huh? It's fine. I brought two. Oh, I'm fine. You go ahead. What? I thought you didn't eat anything. I feel full just watching you eat. Really? There's no way he'll feel full just by watching. What should I do? I'm not- I don't want to force him. I don't want to force him, but I don't want it to be like- Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I'm saving over here. I'm saving the decision over here. Oh no. I don't want him to- f I'm not forcing him to hold the chopsticks. Not- I don't want to do that. Because of his bad memories that I just saw a glimpse of. Oh no no no. Uh, but like that seems like the choice that I should make, but because it seems that it might be hinting towards me to make that choice, especially since I'd be worried about him and like, ah, uh, it would do character development and plot development, but like I don't want to hurt him. Oh no! Don't do this to me, 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 don't, don't. This is not okay. This is... Rem this is like... Worse. This is so bad. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know what the right answer is. And I don't want to look, because I don't want to cheat. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna force him to hold the chopsticks because I'm thinking the game wants me to do that. But for all I know, it could be like, oh, if you're not hungry, okay. And then just leave it. But like, uh, I don't wanna do this. 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 I made him hold the chopsticks. Master, I'm really fine. I'm not fine. You don't eat a lot nowadays. You'll get sick, you know. It's fine. I'm not scared of getting sick. If you're sick, I'll worry the whole time until you get better. Worry? Master? Huh? Oh, yeah, of course I'll worry. I felt confused why he wouldn't- why he would ask about such a sure thing. If I get sick, the master worries? I will. I'll nurse you by your side. Everyone will worry, not just me. Nurse. Really? Oh, no. Anyone who suffers abuse and has someone who actually cares about them and is always shocked by little things like that. Because it's like, oh, someone actually, like, would do that for me? I've never had that before, or I've never experienced that before. And then, because, oh, oh no, this is bringing up bad memories. Oh. Fuck, I didn't realize his, his root was going to do that. Huh? If I get sick, you'll nurse me? Ba Why the- f Whoa, you have a flirtatious look in your eyes right now! Ooh, I'm so confused by this. What the fuck? That's a 180. If I get sick, you'll nurse me by my side? I nodded. Then, but you- you're not sick, right? Seeing Yunho act a bit weird, I asked just in case. No, I'm not sick now. Then good. Oh, right, Master, I have to show you this. Yunho took something out from his bag. That's... The fairy tale book he received earlier. Some girl gave this to me in the morning. I thought she was making fun of me at first, but I found a lot of fun things in the book when I read it. There were a lot of fun things? Yeah, there was a part I wanted to show you. Ah, found it! Yunho stopped flipping through the pages and beamed at me. Here, look! This part right here! So pretty, isn't it? That's the merry-go-round from the opening. And... The bad ending. Oh, this is connected. This is connected! There was a picture of a little girl smiling and riding a merry-go-round, and underneath this was written, Look at this. I can now go to the land of dreams. Land of dreams and a merry-go-round. <gasps> oh! 
that's gonna be familiar to her because of the white-haired boy and the white-haired boy is from the land of dreams isn't he isn't he pretty I was almost possessed by the picture merry-go-round a merry-go-round is my favorite ride at the amusement park the reason I like it is master is something wrong huh oh nothing just Yunho looked at me curious it reminded me of something from a long time ago. Something from a long time ago? Yeah, when I was little, I once went to an amusement park. An amusement park? It's a place that has lots of rides. They have roller coasters, ferris wheels. My parents were always busy, so I never went to one. I was staying with Grandpa, and he was a scholar type, so he didn't really like amusement parks. I knew that, so I never asked him if we could go. But one day, I gathered the courage to ask him, and the very next day, Grandpa took me to the amusement park. So, I never forgot about that day at the amusement park. It's fucking connected! Ah, it's fucking connected somehow! And she probably met the little white-haired boy there somehow. And then... I need to know more. That was when I rode the merry-go-round for the first time. Master, so you've never been to an amusement park since then? Oh, yeah. Normally, kids my age would have gone several times, but that's the only memory I have of an amusement park. I think it's a great memory, an amusement park. You mean what's in this picture really exists, right? I can't even imagine what it would feel like. Yunho's eyes sparkled as he looked at the picture in the book. He was so drawn to the picture, I thought it was cute. Yunho. Yes? Yunho turned his eyes away from the book and looked at me. Should we go together one day? To go ride the merry-go-round? Let's go someday. That amusement will... That amusement park will probably still be there. Uh... He looks like he got angry again. This fucking angry face scares me so much. I don't understand why, though. Is it because, like, he's super friendly and nice, and then one minute he's like, I'm fucking pissed. You're a bitch. And it's like, ah, what the hell? Like, I literally felt a little piercing in my little, little feels heart. And it's like, ah, oh, what? No, don't do that to me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fuck. Are you for real, Master? Really? But then he looks excited. <gasps> what the fuck is going on? Yunho looked excited. Yes. Really, really? You and I are going to ride the merry-go-round together? Yes. <laughs> You're really excited. You wanted to ride a merry-go-round that bad? Yes, but it's not just because I want to ride it. It's more important that Master and I go together. Going to the amusement park with just the two of us, riding the merry-go-round from your memories. I'm so excited! Master, you have to keep that promise. You can't forget, alright? Hmm? Yunho suddenly got up from his seat and grasped my hands. Huh? Well, wait, Yunho, my, my hands! I was about to tell him to let go of my hands when I saw his glistening eyes. His face was full of smiles. I didn't know he'd be this excited. He's feeling... He's feeling this happy about riding a merry-go-round. When can we go? I want to go right now, but that'd be difficult, right? I'm really excited. Just the two of us. I realized how little I've done for Yunho after seeing him feel so happy at such a tiny thing. Waking me up every morning and making eggs for me. Come to think of it, I always got things from him. I should give back now. To Yunho, I have to... Let's go there someday when we have time. Since you mentioned it, we should go really soon. save this in a different spot. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna put it... I have to remember where it is, though. That's the problem. And not... I'm gonna put it right underneath. <gasps> no! Not there! No! That's not what I meant! I'm on the sixth one! That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! I want it there. Okay. <laughs> put it there. <laughs> I don't want to fuck up on my saves. Okay, okay, okay. So you know, I have to. We should go really soon. Because that would be better than saying someday when we have time. I think. We should go really soon. Since you mentioned it, we should go really soon. Yunho's eyes widened. What? Really, Master? Yunho held my hands tighter. S sure, but Yunho, can you let go of my hands? Master, I really... The kids came back from the cafeteria and came into the classroom. <gasps> oh no... 
Oh, no. Did they hear the fact that he called me master? I hope not. Ah, uh, you know you came here already. Why? What did you do here? Why didn't you tell us you were going back to the classroom? We waited for you. Yunho came back without saying anything? I looked at Yunho. Huh? What's that? Yunho, you ate packed lunch? Huh? Oh, yes. I didn't have anything to eat, so she shared hers. Oh, no. I don't... I think that's to represent all of them. I felt the girls glaring at me. Ugh. They may take it the wrong way. I felt the girls put their, gu their guards against me for being alone with Yunho. They don't have to be this guarded against me. Well, whatever, but hang with us until lunchtime ends, hmm? Well, wait, um... Yunho was pushed away from me. Uh, um... Yunho turned towards my side and looked disappointed. I stayed quiet, since if I say something to Yunho right now, the girls would surely be jealous. Ugh, I can't even talk to him at the academy. During the rest of lunch, Yunho was surrounded by girls the whole time. It's good that he has a lot of friends, but I can't help but feel he is being swayed too much. Is he okay? I'm a bit pissed. After fifth period during recess, Zoe told me. At what? Zoe frowned and continued. The atmosphere. I heard you were with Yunho by yourself during lunch today. Oh. That. I heard some girls saying talking... I heard some girls talking about how you have sneaky feelings for the chick. Do I look like I have sneaky feelings? That's so wrong. Yunho's the only, is the one who came to me during lunch. But if I say that, Yunho would look bad, so I didn't say anything. Ahem, <clears throat> anyways, I know nothing between you. I knew nothing happened between the two of you, but you're going to get in trouble around here if you're close to the hot five. It's nothing. Yunho didn't have anything to eat, so I shared my lunch, and Yunho showed me his fairy tale book. Fairy tale book? The one he got from the girl earlier? Yeah. I thought that was a joke, but showing it to you. Anyways, I get that nothing happened, but just be careful. A girl gets dangerous when she gets jealous. If there's something bothering you, just come to us. Yeah, we can search for a solution together. Zoe was unlike herself and talked seriously, and Shinbi added kindly. It's times like these when I feel they're actually my friends. Thanks, I will. I told them not to worry. I didn't want to make my friends worry. I take the limo to school, but I take the bus back home. The bus is hell. Ugh, I'm back. I took off my shoes. The day has ended without any trouble. Oh, you're here. Come in, my honey. He's got blushies. <laughs> He's got the fucking Kohai slash Senpai blushies. Everyone's early. Huh? Where's Tay? Tay is working. He gets off work late today. Oh, right. Yeah, I totally forgot. Once a week, he gets off late. I went into the living room, but felt something missing. The blonde boy running towards me, saying, Master. Where's Yunho? He Yellow's not here yet. He's in your class. I thought he was coming with you. Huh? I feel a bit worried, so I should call him. He usually gets home before I do. I don't think he said he was going anywhere else with the girls after class. I got out my phone to talk to him. Oh, Yunho sent me a text. My phone was in the bag, so I didn't know. Master, I will be a bit late today. Don't worry. Aww. Okay. I won't worry. A text? Is it from Yolo? Yeah, we text each other a lot. Ah, he's still too young to know that the quickest way to a woman's heart is not by texting, but calling. Let's not ask how many girls are in Yuri's phone book. Lance, you don't text? I do not. I do not want to waste my time on such useless things, and a cell phone is primarily for calling. Alright. Cold as usual. He talks like an old man. I'm glad I don't sound like the oldest here. At hearing what both of them said, Lance sighed as if he gave up. I laughed at the familiar scene. If you know we're here, we'd have fervently chatted about Twinter, too. Then I should go do my homework. I'll just eat dinner quickly since Tay's late. I headed... Excuse me. I headed to my room. <sighs> finally finished. I finally finished all my homework for the academy. I normally don't finish all my homework, but since exams are near, I felt nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous too. Quite nervous. I looked at the clock and it was 11. I thought I'd finish homework earlier, but it took longer than I expected. Oh, Yunho still hasn't come home yet? He said he'll be late, but this was too late. 
out at this hour. I'm getting worried. Oh, fuck. Did I get a bad ending? I hope not. Should I call him? Huh? I thought I heard the front door open. I went to the living room thinking it might be Yunho. Let me guess, it's Tay. Yep, it's Tay. Today was seriously hell. Full all day. <laughs> there were a lot of customers today. I thought weekdays were more relaxed. There were more people than last week. The manager was really happy. I should have asked for a raise if I knew this was going to happen. Huh? You two got here together? Tay and Yunho came in together. What happened? Master, I'm back! Yunho came running straight to me. I finally felt less sleepy. Or less empty. I felt a bit weird when Yunho wasn't here to come running towards me when I came back home. Yunho came to the cafe today. Yunho did? I let go of the arms hugging me and looked at Yunho. Master, this! Yunho held out a small cake box. This is... Carrot cake! You like this, Master, right? They made it today, so it's fresh. It'll be good for sure. Huh? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I took the cake. You were at Banjul until pretty late. Did you wait for Tay to get off work? Yeah, I ended up waiting. Did Yunho like Banjul too? I looked at Tay, but he gave me his usual smile. Then I'll go get ready for bed. Tay headed to his room. Master, should I take the cake to your room? Huh? Oh. Should I eat it while writing in my diary? You're going to write in your diary now, right? Then how about eating this while you write? You know, said as if he had just read my thoughts. Oh. Yeah. I was kind of dumbfounded to see him be so kind. Go and rest now, I'll bring the cake. Yunho took the cake box in my hand and went to the kitchen. What in the world is going on? He seems more clingy than usual. I'm glad Yunho came back safe. I was about to get worried. And an unexpected gift. I smiled at seeing Yunho carefully put the cake on a plate. I should thank him properly when he brings it to my room. I opened my diary and wrote down the things that happened today. Let's see, what else happened? I thought hard and wrote everything down, when I was almost finished. Aww. I heard a knock at the door. Master, I'm coming in! As expected, I heard Yunho's voice. The door opened and Yunho came in. Master, I brought you cake! Oh, okay. Yunho came to my side and laid down the plate and fork. And I also brought you a cup of tea. I brought it from Banjul. It's raspberry flavor. The sweet scent fills the room. It is really perfect. And Yunho cut the cake. Cut the end of the cake with the fork. Uh, what are you doing? Here, master. The tip of the fork was in front of my lips. Is he trying to feed me? A bit embarrassing. Uh, I'll do it myself. What are you doing? Oh, this is confusing. Hey, don't refuse. Say, ah. Uh Yunho pushed the fork a bit forward. It was a bit embarrassing, but I opened my mouth. It's good. The sweet carrot scent spread in my mouth. <laughs> I know, right? This carrot cake is really popular. It tastes sweeter than usual, maybe because your heart's in it. Ah. Uh, Yunho bashfully blushed. Aw, he's so cute. Was it because of the sweet cake? I could say the things I was too shy to say. It is embarrassing, but it's true. Master. Yunho stared into my eyes. Yeah? Uh, <gasps> oh, no! Master, um, am I good? What? I wondered if Master thinks I'm good. Oh, God, this is relating back to what his, what his last Master was like. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> don't do this to me. Oh, no, I'm gonna cry. Oh, no, I can feel the tears. No, this is not okay. God, I knew this would bring up bad memories and bad feelings. Oh, uh, no, I'm- no, don't make me cry. God, it's not okay. I already had one game that made me fucking sob. And that was like one of the- one of the- one of my early games that I was let's playing when I first started. When my audio was bad and my mic was bad and- Ugh, I just recently fixed my fucking audio. Oh, God. <laughs> what kind of question is that? You know, everyone who knows you likes you, of course, including me. Really? Yunho just stared at me. Although he just bought, brought the cake and cup of tea right in front of me, he asked me if he's good. You are a very kind and sweet person. 
I didn't know you'd bring cake. I wasn't expecting it. I was really surprised. I looked him in the eye, thinking this is the time to properly thank him. Thank you so much for the cake. I'm so happy that you cared. I thanked him while, hold it, while looking into his eyes. Happy? Hmm? Master, you're happy because I brought you cake, right? Right? Of course. Of course I'm happy that you brought it for me. I nodded and said, Oh, is he about to cry? Master! Y you know? Why is he suddenly about to cry? Did I say something bad? That that mustn't be it. Y you know what? I I'll be better. I'll, I'll be kinder. You you don't have to, so don't cry. You're good enough already. I, I really like Master. More than anything in the world. No, in the universe. So I can do anything if Master wants me to. Whatever that may be. So always smile at me like you are doing now. I'd, I'd do anything to have you by my side. Yunho. I felt touched to hear Yunho's dramatic words. I didn't know he thought of me that much. But come to think of it, Yunho was always trying for me. He's always nice and caring to me. Yunho is a really good boy. If Master can smile... My body can be smashed, burned, and turned to ashes. <gasps> what? 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 I doubted my ears at what I just heard. What? Did you just... I looked surprised at Yunho, but he grinned. What? Now, Master, eat the rest of this. Oh my god, no, don't tell me he's a fucking... Don't tell me he's a... F no, there's no... No! No! Oh, fuck, I can't remember what it was called. The fucking stereotype? Where, like, they love you so much that they would kill for you? I fucking, fucking can't fucking remember that stereotype. Oh my god, don't be that stereotype. Please. <laughs> Please do not be that stereotype. I've never, for, I've never once liked a character that was that stereotype. Ever. Don't do this to me. Especially with the fucking abusive past that he has. Don't do this to me. That's not okay. Like, th no. Now, Master, eat the rest of this. He took the fork again and cut the carrot cake. I ate the carrot cake he fed me and thought about what he just said. What was it he just said? Okay, we made it through the chapter. It didn't end in the chapter, so I'm assuming it's okay to save here. I will find out. Probably. Theme park is the next one. Okay. Um. I'm a little scared now! <laughs> I really hope I didn't, and I really hope that's not the case. Oh no. Oh, baby, no. Don't do this to me. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I, uh, this is why I don't get attached to characters and why I don't play Otome games unless I really want to feel the effects of dying inside. And even, like, and I don't usually, but I don't ever, actually. I like feeling, like, the nice, happy feelings, but, like, fuck, Chariots, you got fucking dark! Like, you're, this is darker than fucking Dandelion from what I've already played of Dandelion. And I haven't even finished it in full yet and it's probably fucking twisted as fuck, but this? I've just started this and I'm already like, oh my god, no! And I'm like, my heart, it hurts right now. Like, no! No, 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 Oh my god. I am terrified all of a sudden. I don't I don't want I don't want something bad. I don't I don't want you know to like be 
the stereotype I'm thinking of that I can't fucking think of off the top of my head. I'm probably gonna, like, know as soon as I'm editing this and, like, edit it in text somewhere every single time I keep mentioning it. Oh, God. Please don't be it. Please. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. And, uh, I'll, I'll um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.